All right. This. Uh, hey, my name is Nick Burnett, and this is sort of a a walkthrough of a couple of the hard parts in my game, Maniki's Curse. And I'm doing this because my dear buddy Evan Carter, who is an awesome sci-fi fan, uh, appears to be stuck. So I think he's already gotten to here. Let's see. There's a part of the labyrinth just before where he's stuck. I'm going to show him a little secret. If he knows where this is, he should try going all the way down real quick. Because there's a hidden door there. Go over here. If you hold the shift button down, you walk faster. I already got this chest, but in this chest is a legendary item. Let's see. So make sure to get that. All right, so back in business. You come out this door. I think I have like something here, but we're already past that. He said he's stuck somewhere with these sleeping plants, the pollen sleeping plants. I totally understand that because I don't even remember which door is which. But it is possible if you just go one by one. You definitely want to get to here and I think it's the fourth door. Okay, it's not the fourth door. Oh, okay. So it's that one. I think. Yeah. Alright, so right as you go in, it's this bottom left one. That's a good place to start. Carry you over here. Alright, I'm not really sure where to go, so... We're gonna find it, though. That'll be for my buddy Evan. Okay. Oh, so that just goes back here. So this is still the right direction. And... Door, door, door. Okay, this is progress. fight them? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the wall. Now you'll have to fight them, but I'm the game designer, so I have godlike powers. I can walk through walls. I think it's this door. Yeah, this feels right. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you check this, pretty sure it's this one. There's an item in there. Yeah, I don't want to fight you, so using my god powers. Oh, walking around you. I know, I know. I'm cheating because I'm walking through the walls. Ow! Oh, you got me. Alright, let's go. That was an excellent hit. Yeah, I'm using some more powerful weapons right now. There's a lot of little spots in this labyrinth where you can get stuck. But, uh, the goal is that it's not too hard of course. Alright, sleep all in. Hit me, I can't wake up. Hey, I'm gonna go. Oh, I don't need to save the game. That's what you get. I don't need to save the game. Boom. Alright, let's try this again. Pretty sure that's the door I want. I don't know. Walk through the walls. Okay, so this might be a part where he's stuck. This is a door. I know it doesn't look like it. Sneaky me. And. There's a couple of extra stuff in here through some of those other routes. This is an extra by going to this room. So not that way. Not to get through it anyway, so let's do this one. Oh uh, yeah, I made a little sneaky something through here to get... See, it just keeps putting you here, so you gotta go through the same door which actually puts you here. And then that's back there. Let's, let's follow that the way it's supposed to be. Same door. And there's a soul in here. So it must be this door. Man, this labyrinth's frustrating. Okay. It might be this one. The... Uh, what is that? The sixth one from the left? Go down again. No. Let's try... Let's try the fourth one. Where it pits you. No, let's try the first one. Let's try the third one. Aha! This is progress. Go down again. I think you go down again. No, it's not down again. Okay, so it's this third one. Up again, because I'm sneaky. And now you're out. All right, Evan, I hope that helps you. We'll show you that one more time. Down, you're not supposed to go down there because it puts you back here. So when you get to this room with all these doors, because maybe I was just feeling mean when I made this part. Third door, and then back up. Sneaky, sneaky. 
So it looks like you just came out of that door, but you go back in that door. All right, if you fight this guy, you have to have found pretty much all the top level gear that's been available that I've hidden up to this point. And you probably want to have Tetsujin if you don't have him. And you might have a chance of beating him. You get two souls for winning and you get a free pass through the next area. If you can't beat him, and you probably can't, uh, you want to go up through here into the chamber of darkness. And it gets dark. All right, that's what I got. Anyone else have any uh, issues? Drop me a line. If I can't walk you through it, maybe I'll make you a video. Thanks for watching.